This is Twit. Now, there are many people who believe that cryptocurrencies are the unicorn of the tech industry, and they're really more of a myth than a reality. Well, Nicholas Weaver is one of those skeptics. He's a researcher at UC Berkeley's International Computer Science Institute and has characterized Bitcoin and its many follow-on digital currencies as energy-sucking leeches, leeches with no deeming quali redeeming qualities. Now, with this level of experience and intelligence, Weaver has and has pretty good claims and, and backs up his claims. Weaver has laid out a variety of reasons why cryptocurrencies make a poor substitute for use of payment cards, checks, and old-fashioned cash. Now, let's go ahead and through some of them here. Um, cryptocurrency transactions are expensive because cri cryptocurrencies are supposed to have no central authority that can reverse a transaction, and they are, quote, fundamentally incompatible with the modern financial system, which means the pipeline to take care of those expenses, retail retailers actually have to issue their own credits or hold on to it to see if it gains value, and the value is turbulent over time, so it's actually very expensive. Crypto Number two, cryptocurrencies are deflationary. Now, this means that the longer someone holds on to a cryptocurrency, the more goods and services it will buy. Well, as Weaver puts it, in a deflationary currency, rule one is never spend your currency. Less than 10,000 Bitcoin pizza fill your stomach with a Breaking Bad pile of regret a few years down the road. Now, I love that Breaking Bad reference there. Now, number three, cryptocurrencies are hard to hold because based off of a survey of people who have stored large amounts of cryptocurrency in a hot wallet, they will almost inevitably say their wallet has been sto stolen. That makes crypto cryptocurrencies a major inconvenience and a liability. Now, a couple other myths that we recalls out is number one, cryptocurrencies are decentralized. Now, in theory, that is actually true, but in practice, they are actually a quasi-central authority, which is just consider that the 2016 bailout of the DAO, a crowdsourced investment fund, after hacks actually swindled out a $50 million worth of Ethereum. Now, number two, Blockchains will revolutionize X, which means cryptocurrencies rely on a permissionless chain of hashes to verify a public ledger of all previous transactions. Now, the rise of cryptocurrencies has spawned renewed energy in permissioned or private chains that supposedly can be used in new ways to keep records. The problem, Weaver said, is that these chains have existed for decades in the form of hash chains and have already been used for just about anything that could benefit from it. Now, this creates an interesting perspective of cryptocurrencies and blockchains that people are overlooking with all the hopes of making it rich. Now, this might just raise a couple eyebrows for investors and technologies alike, and maybe even cause an interesting pivot in the industry to look for something else to secure our digital future.